Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at the Asus Zenfone 9. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on this one, 780 bucks. Now it comes in four different colors, you got black, red, blue, and silver. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a 5.9 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 445 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, an aluminium frame, and a polymer back. Now you got HDR10+, plus, up to 1000 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now it's running Android 12 with Zen UI skin on top. You got eight, 12, or 16 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 4,300 milliamp battery that features 30 watt fast charge. Now Asus claims you can charge your phone from zero to 57% in 30 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear you got a dual setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Now you can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second and 4K video at 30, 60, or 120 frames per second. You also have the gimbal stabilization. On the front, you got a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. Now you got Bluetooth 5.2, NFC, always on display, dual stereo speakers, face unlock, side mounted fingerprint sensor, and a headphone jack. I repeat, a headphone jack. That's not whack. Hashtag bars. All right, so all of that for 780 bucks, what's missing? There's no quad HD display, no expandable memory, and no wireless charge. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. 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 White shoes. shoes. Calm down. Do y'all see how smart White Shoes is? She noticed this was her part of the video. Did you notice she just flopped over and looked at me like, ready for the entrance? All right, Shoes, you got your entrance, all right? Now, calm down. Okay, now before I get started, let me say this. This is a special request video for my subscribers. Because if y'all watch my channel, y'all know I hate small phones, but a lot of y'all asked me to review this, so that's what I'm gonna do. But if you like this phone and you wanna buy it from me, send me a DM on Instagram and I give you a great price. And speaking of Instagram, I shouldn't have to keep saying this, but please, ladies, gentlemen, do not get scammed, okay? Now, I'm gonna leave a link right here for the video I made about the scammers, but if you go to the comment section on any one of my videos since the day I made that video, you're gonna see a pinned comment letting y'all know about the scammers. If you see a comment, all right, with WhatsApp or Telegram giving you a prize, it is not me. <laughs> I know, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all I know. Even to this day, I'm getting messages right now. Yo, Floss, where's my iPhone 13? I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, I paid you 50 bucks for shipping and handling. Where's my iPhone 13 that I won? Look, bro, all right? If you get scammed now, your name is Boo Boo the Fool, okay? A giveaway shouldn't have to cost you any money, all right? So anybody doing a giveaway where you gotta pay money, that's not a giveaway. You're buying something, okay? If I'm doing a giveaway and you win a prize, you're getting it absolutely free. Okay, so please, watch out for the scammers. That's why when I'm selling phones, I only sell them on Instagram because you can click on my profile. None of these scammers is gonna have my picture with over 200,000 followers. It's not gonna happen. Anyway, here we go, Asus Zenfone 9. Now this is a compact Android phone. And not just a compact phone, a compact beast. I thought I wasn't gonna like this phone, but <laughs> I actually do. I actually do, but realistically, I'm never gonna use it again, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, nice presentation alert, little gray box. Okay, inside, SIM ejection tool. Okay, you got your usual books and shit, and it does come with a case. Now, I'm gonna try to do this very nicely for whoever wants to buy this phone. You're gonna get all of the uh, <laughs> original packing. Okay, nice little case, hard shell. I uh, got protection on one side, this side is wide open. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Now I went with the red color, of course. Okay, let's save that for the end. Let's see what else you get. Okay, here we go. 
You get your 30 watt fast charging brick in the box. Samsung, Google, Apple, pay attention. This is how you do it, okay? You're advertising 30 watt fast charging, prove it. Put the charge in the box. Shoes, you wanna inspect that for quality? No? Okay, good. All right, <laughs> I guess she, just, she can see the quality already. Now for the actual device, again, I'm gonna save this for y'all. Asus Zenfone 9. Now, of course, I got OCD, so I do have to peel the stick off the back. Little sticker struggles alert, here we go. Rah. Okay, Asus Zenfone 9. Now, this is that red color, y'all know I like the red. Let me do the smell test. Mm! Smells small, all right? This phone has a small smell to it because it's a really small phone. Nice, look how cute this is. A nice, small, cute Android phone. Now, I understand the market for this, okay? A lot of y'all looking for a small, lightweight, compact phone, especially ladies, okay? Especially dudes with small hands. But if you like me, there's three reasons why you're not gonna like this phone. Number one, it's just too small, okay? It's just too small. Number two, if you got big hands, you know what they say about people with big hands? They got big fingers, all right? If you got big fingers, which I thought I was gonna say, fucking perverts, you got big fingers, you're not gonna be able to type on this, your thumbs are gonna be touching, it's gonna get on your nerves. And the last reason, if you like me, where well, you may not like this phone, if you got bad eyesight. Okay, now for the duration of this video, right now I got my glasses off, but for the rest of this video, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on. The text on this phone is really small, okay? Now, of course, you can make it bigger, but when you make it bigger, you lose screen real estate. So now it's gonna take you three swipes to read one Instagram post. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, this phone is just not for me. Let me show you the kind of stuff I like since we right here talking. In my opinion, if you're gonna get a small phone and you got big hands, go with something like a Z Fold 3 or a Z Fold 4. This phone is nice and small. Again, I get it why you would want a small phone, okay? When I'm working out, if I'm walking through the hood and I got my sweatpants on, I don't want a big giant Galaxy Note in my pocket dragging my sweatpants down, got me out here sagging. I, you, when I'm riding my bike, I want a small, lightweight, compact phone, just like this, but then when I'm ready to type on it, flip it open, now I got a big giant phone. All right, not giant, but bigger than this. Even flipped open, it's still way bigger than this. And here's my other personal opinion. Now, if you're gonna get a small phone, I would say, Go with the Galaxy S22, the regular Galaxy S22. The phone is a little bit wider, okay, so your fingers won't touch when you type in. Got wireless charge, better cameras. To me, the Galaxy S22 regular, the regular regular version, is just better than this phone in every way, okay, in every way. So my recommendation would be, if you're looking for that lightweight, compact phone, maybe you got butterfingeritis, you don't want to take any chances breaking a fold, just get a Galaxy S22. You're going to love it better customizable, always on display. It's just better in every way. All right, so let me pause the video, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, as usual, let me start off by talking about the things that I don't like. Now, I'm not gonna complain about the size because chances are, if you're buying an Asus Zenfone 9, you're looking for a small, lightweight, compact Android phone, this is it. But my personal opinion, I don't really like the size. But here's one thing that I don't like. The power button is a little bit too low, okay? I think they should have put the volume rocker on the left side of the phone and put the power button right in the middle. Now, if you got regular size hands or big hands, you're gonna notice that you're always hitting volume down instead of the power button, okay? So it could have been a little bit higher. Next, no quad HD display. Now, we're gonna talk about how beautiful the display actually is, but for almost 800 bucks, all right, that's borderline, Oh, best borderline flagship prices, it should have had flagship specs, okay? Should have been Quad HD. And lastly, now this is my biggest gripe, my biggest dislike, no wireless charge. What a missed opportunity. Now in 2022, I showed y'all phones that cost 400 bucks, like the Nothing phone, that have wireless charge. And I know some of y'all don't care about wireless charge, but if you like me and you invested a lot of money into wireless chargers and have them strategically placed around your house, in the kitchen, bathroom, living room, everywhere you go, nobody want to be walking around like, hold on a second, let me charge my phone. Okay, um, got to look for this wire and plug. Nobody want to do that. You want to just have your little wireless chargers on deck, wherever you at, bong slapping on, you ready to go, walk out the door. All right, so no wireless charge. I don't like that. Other than that, for what this phone is, Okay, let me zoom back out, I, I can't see. <laughs> Other than that, for what this phone is, it's perfect. 
anybody looking for a small, compact, lightweight Android phone that does have the latest processor and GPU, excellent cameras, excellent battery life, excellent speakers, beautiful display, this is it. But again, I just gotta, since this is a review, I gotta keep throwing in my personal opinions. If it was me and my money, I would go with the Galaxy S22. Everything that I just said about this one, <laughs> you can apply it to this phone, but you can also apply better always on display, more customization, and wireless charge. Okay? And if you look closely, these phones are literally the same exact height. Okay? But on the Galaxy, the display is just a little bit wider. So it makes it easier to type. Okay, let's talk about the build quality. All right, now, that was everything that I don't like. Now let's get into everything that I do like. The build quality, that's number one. This polymer back, okay, kind of has a rubberish feel to it. Now, Asus claims that this is more scratch resistant, okay, and more shatterproof than plastic and glass. Okay, it, has, it does give it a more of a rugged kind of feel to it. I like this. I, I was surprised when I first felt it. I was like, what is this? I was like, what is this, velvet? When I, when I, first, when I first felt it, it had a unique, look, you can hear that it has a, a unique texture to it. Okay, now my biggest concern was, is it gonna get dirty? Is it gonna get scratched up? And so far, definitely not. Okay, definitely not. So the build quality of this, you're gonna love it. It's IP68 dust and water resistant. You got the flat aluminum, or as we say in America, aluminum. Okay, you got the aluminum frame on the side. No issues with the build quality at all. And it's definitely lightweight. That's one of the things, when I first got it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna hate this phone, but I had it in my pocket and I was walking around doing my little outdoor workout since I'm still in the 30 day challenge. I was still going strong. I had this in my pocket while I was doing my little daily walk and it just felt nice. I had, it felt nice to have a lightweight phone in your pocket that almost disappears into your pants. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, now a couple of different ways you can open up your device. You got, you can swipe up. Now this, I'm, I'm gonna talk about this fingerprint sense in a minute. All right, you can swipe up, you can put in your pattern and your pin. Okay, next, you got this fingerprint sensor, which is really flawless, okay? Watch this, now, you see always on display. Now, on a side note, you do got always on display and your notifications, but watch this. This is how the fingerprint sensor works. Bang, every time. Almost to the point where even if you accidentally touch it, it's gonna open. Okay, so you got flawless biometrics. And I'm trying to concentrate. Shoes just staring into my soul, bro. I know you're in love, but to, to calm down, we're gonna talk after the video. All right, damn it. Anyway, flawless biometrics. Okay, the fingerprint sensor, amazing. I'm kind of glad that he put it right there instead of on screen. If you're gonna have a side minor fingerprint sensor, it has to work flawlessly, and this one does. Now you got your always on display. Not fully customizable, but you do have some different options. We'll take a look at those in, in, in a second. Swipe over, you got your Google feed, okay? Now this phone is super fast. This is another thing that I fell in love about this phone, even though I'm not gonna keep it. It's just extra buttery smooth, okay? Now, if you ever had an Asus phone, you know lag is not an issue. This phone has no lagging issues, and um, <laughs> since we write here, shoes, let me go ahead and save that. No lag at all, the phone is buttery smooth. Now let's talk about the display. The brightness level on this phone is amazing. Now, I didn't measure the actual nittage, okay, but it's super bright. Now, the other day, I don't think that was yesterday, maybe two days ago, I was complaining about the nothing phone when you're outside in direct sunlight. It's very dull. This is the complete opposite. This phone is super bright. Now, I got it on max brightness right now. I don't know if this is maximum nittage that you could get on the phone, but when you got a smaller phone, you get more PPIs. All right, so the phone, it just looks better. The display looks beautiful. I love it, okay? And it's extra bright. Now, as far as the OS, Zen UI, kind of looks like stock Android, okay? They got a few uh, little uh, gimmicky features attached to that. I'm just gonna breeze through them real quick. Let's make sure you got everything on deck. Let's see, you got, um, okay, that's all. Uh, you got NFC, okay, Android Auto, and you got Screencast. Okay, let's go to um, VPNs, private DNS, I right, for your scumbag activities. Let's go to sound and vibrations. Now, <laughs> I was actually pleasantly surprised with the speakers. Again, when I did the nothing phone, I was like, ah, oh, the speakers kind of sound a little trashy. 
I'm not bad, just a little trashy, okay? But the speakers on this sound actually pretty good. Pretty good speakers. And you got, oh, one more thing I want to show you. You got outdoor mode, okay? You got volume syncing. You got smart ringtones, okay? You can adjust the, in, the uh, incoming calls based on the background noise levels. That's a nice little feature to play with, okay? Storage, now this one right here. I forgot which one I ordered, so let's just check. But I believe this is probably eight gigs of, this is eight, 128. Yeah, this is eight, 128. Okay, eight, eight, 128. Battery life on this, amazing, okay? Even though it's 4,300 milliamps, you would think that on a smaller phone, it's gonna be, you know, it, you would think the battery is gonna be good. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> on a smaller phone without Quad HD display, you would expect to have a good battery, and this one has that. Okay, this one definitely has that. Now, I just seen something, what was that, visual settings? Okay, hold on, let's check that. V battery display, okay, percentage, icon and percentage, let's leave that. Okay, she was trying to play right now. She, she was, I'm, in, I'm working, I'm working. It's too cute. All right, anyway, let me, let, me not, let me not get her started. All right, let's go to um, display. Okay, now you got different color choices. So you can have optimal, natural, cinematic, standard, or customized. Okay, so you get the optimal uh, display performance. You do got 120 hertz refresh rate. Now the brightness level is on max. You have a night light. Let's just see. Now for the refresh rate, you can leave it on auto. You get even better battery life. But me, once I drop some money on something, I'm running everything at maximum, at maximum capabilities. So I just put everything on 120. Now you got different font styles. You can change your animation speeds. Now this is kind of cool. Usually you gotta go into developer options to get to this menu, but it's right there. So you can turn your window animation scale down, your transition animation scales, which you're not gonna have to do on this phone because it's already buttery smooth. You usually gotta do that on Galaxy phones. <laughs> Throw a little shade to Samsung right, right there. All right, let's see, you got your color scheme. I got it on dark. System navigation, you can have your three buttons if you want. Always on display. Now here's the thing about the always on display. Not too many different styles to choose from. You really got four, <laughs> all right? Again, that's why I would go with the Galaxy phone. You can have custom always on displays and you got a thousand different ones to choose from. This one, you only got four. I think I like that one the best. Okay, anything else we need to see? Let's go to, uh, okay, security. You got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, smart lock. Okay, let's go to advanced. Okay, smart key. Now, you can use the power button to use different, I'm not gonna really talk about this too much, but you can use this, the the um, the power button to scroll, okay? So if you really got small hands and you this phone is still kind of big for you, you can use that to scroll, okay? You can customize the quick access, okay? You can have it when you press and hold. Okay, I got it for power off, but you can turn that to press and hold, activate an app, or activate your voice assistant, okay? And you got swipe. Now to swipe, if you're online on a website, you can swipe down and it'll refresh the website instead of going like that. I mean, just nice little convenient feature right there. Okay, you got your mobile manager. Nothing to really see there. That's basically like your security suite. You got Game Genie. Okay, now when I go to the uh, gaming functions test, you're gonna see that this is an Asus phone. So you already know they, they specialize in gaming phones. This one does have a nice little Game Genie built in. You got twin apps, all right, for all your scumbags out there. You got your edge tool. Let's go ahead and turn that on, okay? So this way, when you swipe over, you're going to get like uh, Galaxy apps, you know, like the Galaxy Edge panels. Okay, so we're going to leave that on. You could customize that. OptiFlex. Okay, now actually i never seen this one, so let's see what this is. OptiFlex accelerates app launches, reduces app reloads, and uh, saves power on standby. Okay, OptiFlex. Okay, well, that's some nice little feature y'all can play with. Okay, now you got one hand mode. Now if this phone, again, if this phone is still too big for you, swipe up from, from the bottom and it'll split in half extra one hand mode, all right, so you get extra small. You got screenshot, screen record, all your basic stuff. Now, if you're hearing or visually impaired, all the accessibility features do work. Digital well-being, monitor your scumbag activities. System, okay, everything on deck. There's an update right now. I didn't bother doing it, because like I said, I don't plan on keeping this phone. But when you get it, make sure you update the uh, latest OS. And that's pretty much it for the settings. Now, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. This phone is actually a beast, though. Okay, I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta stress that. It's actually a beast, okay? This is the latest processor, latest GPU. I'm in my basement, so my Wi-Fi is a little bit spotty down here. 
But trust me, okay, Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1, you already know what that means, okay? 120 hertz refresh rate, and watch this. Now, we got split screen multitasking, okay? So if I want to, I could uh, do YouTube on the bottom, Apple on the top, okay? Now, if you want, you can swipe this around. Now we got YouTube on the top, Apple on the bottom. Exit out of that. We can also do Windows. Okay, so you can open this up as a window. Okay, move it around just like that. We can minimize it. Phone is so phone is so small; it's hard for me to touch the, the little buttons. <laughs> okay, let's open it up as a window. You can minimize that and have that as a little floating ball. Okay, so now I say I had to go to Facebook and I want to quickly jump back to YouTube. Bang! There it is, just like that, and we can exit out of that. Okay. There's your edge panels. If you want to, you can edit those, add some more apps. But whatever home screen you on, bang, I got a calculator right there. Do some quick calculations. 5,456. This is how many minutes I've been watching. <laughs> watching Instagram today. Times that by how many minutes I should be working. All right. 25 minutes a day. <laughs> the math is all wrong. Anyway, but you get the idea. Okay. Nice, silky, smooth, soft, soft feeling. I, this phone has a, a soft feel to the back. This is just a great, a great small Android phone. It's so cute. You just want to kiss this phone. It's so cute. Anyway, let's check out the uh, speakers. All right, so before we test out the speakers, I just want to show y'all that the phone is actually fast. I forgot when I came down in the basement, I forgot to switch Wi-Fi's. So let's try that again. Go to Apple.com. So this is how fast it should take you to your websites. Bong, just like that. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, tough a sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, tough a sound test. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass leaving? How's the treble on? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it. Nice and loud. Let's cover up the bottom. Here's the top. You can feel the bass vibrating the, so <laughs> the phone a little bit. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. Excellent speakers for a phone this size. No complaints at all. All right, so now let's test out this beautiful display. 5.9 inch AMOLED panel. Little cutout for the camera. Basically bezel-less. Excellent mittage with the brightness. No issues with the viewing angles. Looks amazing. Let's keep it moving. All right, so before we play some Asphalt 9 and check out the gaming, look at the gaming suite. So once you open up any game, you swipe down, you're gonna get this menu. Okay, so you got different performance modes. Okay, so you got ultra durable, you got durable, you got dynamic, and you got high performance. Now you can also let me put it back on, high, on uh, dynamic. Exit out of that. You can raise or lower the brightness. Raise or lower the volume. Turn that back down. You can change your refresh rate. Your network connection. Okay, you got network blocking. You mark your clips. You got edge tools. You can speed up, record, take screenshots. You got do not disturb. You can assign macros. A full game genie. Real dope. 
All right, so now let's play a little Asphalt 9. On this tiny phone, it's just easier to hold in your hands, okay? <laughs> I should do better now. Let's find out. Here we go. Right out of the gate, let's go. Okay. All right, let's go, let's get it. Woo! Got him up out of there real quick. Back up, oh, he, tried, he really racing. Oh, they really racing today, hold up y'all, let me stop playing around. They out here racing. Let's see if I can beat him to the jump. Oh, we, uh, oh, okay, this is gonna be a close race. I better stop playing. Oh, he wrapped, he wrapped. Okay. Okay, no lag at all. Make sure I win. And again, swipe down right to the game, Genie. Okay. Double tap that and turn the volume down. Pretty dope. All right, so gaming on the Asus Zenfone 9 is exactly what you expect from an Asus phone. It's pretty dope. Now, before we take a look at the camera, there's one more thing I wanted to show y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed this or not, but this phone does have some nice live wallpapers. Okay, pre-installed, you got about six or seven different ones, but the live wallpapers do look nice. Now, let's take a look at the camera. Okay, so let's go through the different shooting modes. You got slow motion, okay? You can do wide angle all the way up to Two point what is it four no two point four for slow motion, okay. You got time lapse. You can do wide angle also. You got video now from video. You got eight K. You can do eight K at thirty frames per second or four K at thirty or sixty, okay. You got regular photos. You got wide angle all the way up to eight times zoom, okay. Not the most scummiest zoom in the world. Let's let's see let's let's. This is the most zoom. Now I'm sitting right on the table, zoomed in on shoes eye. <laughs> you got portrait mode. Okay, now you can change your bokeh effect. Let's see if I get a nice portrait shot. This camera is pretty dope though. Watch this. Look at this shot right here. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so your portrait shots, they're gonna look dope. You got panorama, you got light trail, and you got more. So you got pro mode, night vision, and pro video. Okay, pretty much it. All right, so take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. And remember, this video camera does have gimbal stabilization.
So now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just dropped almost 800 bucks on this phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. No wireless charge. So you're gonna have your phone flat like this, not on the dock. But you can still see your time, date, battery percentage, and your notifications always on display. Now this phone does have excellent sensors. So once you pick it up and look at it, bong, opens up just like that, excellent biometrics. Let's check the weather. Okay, 79 degrees, partly sunny, beautiful, beautiful weather. Exit out of that. Now, let's do the Google feed. So let's get a fresh refresh, a fresh refresh. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going down in the world. Okay, people of Michael Jordan's hometown didn't believe he could be successful, eat your heart out. Let's see, nothing phone one rumors LED counted by YouTuber. <laughs> Rum rumored LEDs. Counted by YouTube, but that's digital trends. I don't know, but um, I do like the Glyph one. Y'all know we're not calling it the nothing phone anymore. I do like the Glyph one. Let's see, best headphones. Let's see, Mike Tyson, I'm prepared to meet God. Mike Tyson was up in the wheelchair the other day, and he's talking about like he don't feel like he's gonna live that much longer. Mike, man, get it together. All right, get it together, Mike. Deontay Wilder, uh, let's see, discuss the up training training routine. All right, Deontay Wilder trying to get back in the ring. He's been getting knocked out a lot lately. Well, hey, it is what it is. Okay, Google Pixel 6. Now, here's another side note. I am selling right now two Google Pixel 6As, okay? If you buy a Pixel 6A from me, you're going to get a bunch of cases and some free wireless headphones. I'm also selling the Pixel 6 Pro. DM me on Instagram only if you're looking to buy a phone. I got plenty of phones for sale, okay? Now look, the reason I'm selling a lot of these phones is because I'm getting tired of storing phones in my house for no reason, and y'all could be using them, okay? Now, I do got some phones that I'm giving away on my next stream, but I also gotta make some money too. All right, I gotta recoup some of these L's that I've been taking. So if you want a great price on one of my older phones, hit me up on Instagram and I'll make it happen for you. I'd rather sell it to y'all than um, put it on Craigslist or eBay, or you know what I'm saying? Or just let it sit around collecting dust. Y'all could be enjoying these products. All right, so that's the Google feed. Let's get out of there. Next, we gotta do a little work. Now again, this is Android 12, so you got all of the Android 12 widgets, my favorite ones. Okay, we got the news widget, my calendar. Okay, it does work with Netflix. Okay, my YouTube music. Say I wanna play some music. Let's see, uh, what was I listening to last? Some Ice Cube. Check yourself. Okay. Let's get some volume on this. Get a little check yourself. And we got the turntable. I can play the music just like that. But again, it's time to work. Let's um <laughs> let's do some work. Okay, let's do some let's see what's going down. Okay. Chat with somebody on Google. Let's hit reply. I'm gonna hit you back. Let's see. Let's see now look, see this is the part I don't like. It's hard for me to type. <laughs> You know, the phone is so cute. All right, I'm gonna hit you back. Bong, just like that. That's my work segment of the day. Okay, exit out of that. Next, let's check some social media. So let's check it over to Facebook. Now, even though the phone is small, as you can see, it's not tiny. You're gonna be able to do all your scumbag activities. Okay, now shout out to my man, Rob Fleming. I used to call him Young Flem because I do hang, the, the, we work. We all worked on the ambulance together. I actually, I think I trained this dude on the ambulance. I, I think he's, I think he's a, a high ranking paramedic right now in the fire department, but I trained him on the ambulance. His brother, we, you know, we, on the ambulance, we all call each other by their last name. So his brother, I worked with Fleming, I, and then Young Fleming came to the job. We used to call him Young Flem. It's so my dude, though. You're all grown up. Yeah, all, oh, man, I love it. I love it. Anyway, so this is how your Facebook is going to look. Hold on. Let's turn this down. Somebody about to... Oh, man. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, Christ. All right, now, in my hood, we call that a fuck slap. <laughs> when you just get slapped, they'd be like, what the fuck? That's a fuck slap right there. Damn. Sir. That's what you call roll over and play dead, yeah? <laughs> roll over and play dead. I get it. I get it. Okay, so we got the Wooja speakers. Okay, okay, this is a family show. This is a family show. Okay, Nike, let's see. Happy birthday, Kasim Barnes. Okay. Okay. Yo, boy, we getting old, man. We getting old. Let's see, Monster got some new power magnetic outlets. Uh, mag well, I said power mag magnetic power outlets. Okay, this is my cousin right here. Shout out to Erica. Okay, looking luxurious. Let's see, anything else we need to see? Okay, tracks. they got some new jewelry out. Okay. Now, I'm wearing my glasses right now. It, it, the phone doesn't seem as small and annoying as it was during a couple of days I was testing it because I hate wearing glasses. And on a side note, do any of y'all... Now, I just started wearing glasses maybe about a month ago. To all of y'all dudes, I all my four-eyed friends, <laughs> I all y'all real nerds that be wearing glasses for your whole life. Let me ask you a question. When you take off your reading glasses, does it seem like your vision is even worse? Like right now I got my glasses and I can see this, but if I take them off, my vision is like, yo, bro, I'm gonna holler at you. <laughs> my vision is like, yo, I'm gonna be over here talking to these cats. Hit me up when you're ready to re do some reading again. All right, here we go. Let me know, dude, because it seems like when I take off my glasses, it takes a minute for me to get my regular vision back. I don't like that. I don't like this old, this getting old type shit. I don't like that. Anyway, all right, so this is how your Facebook is going to look. Ain't nothing really going on. My man got the big spliffs right there. Okay, okay. That's your Facebook. Now let's take it over to Twitter. This is actually the only time I ever go on Twitter is when I'm making a YouTube video. So let's see. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm walking into right now. When can we expect your Galaxy Food 4 review? <laughs> and now, I ain't that blind. That's just Galaxy Food. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to troll. I'm not, I could have I trolled them right now. I could have trolled them. I'm not going to troll them. No, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. Sometimes you just got to leave shit alone. My galaxy food. That's what I, <laughs> okay. It's coming soon though. For anybody who really, who's, who's really curious about my galaxy four fold, my galaxy fold four, I'm doing that next week. I am going on vacation next Saturday. So I'm doing a bunch of videos during the week. I'm going to knock out all of the big ones. Galaxy fold, Z flip. Galaxy Book 360. I got some more. Um, some some. I got some more phones. So we're just gonna go crazy next week. Let's see. Um, let's see. Um, I want to win. Okay, we, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm actually doing a giveaway right now for the speakers. Okay, so you got to comment on that video. Okay, let's see anything. Uh, how can um how can we expect purchasing phones with no charger brick in the box? Okay, tagged MKBHD Zoltec for. Okay, <laughs> can we fix that, bro? Asus just said, hold my beer. Not only do you got a headphone jack, you got a charger in the box. Speaking of headphone jacks, okay, speaking of headphone jacks, a lot of y'all, every time I say, oh, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars, here come the haters. Let me let me get my hater voice ready. Here come the haters. Oh, come on, Floss. Why are you always talking about headphone jacks? Nobody make headphone jacks. You need to stop talking about that. Why are you always talking about expandable memory? Phones don't have that anymore. Shut the fuck up. All right, this phone got a headphone jack. Sony phones got expandable memory. Sony flagship phones. This is an Asus flagship phone. Okay, headphone jacks. We got to keep talking about this kind of shit so companies will listen. That's why I always say bring back the IR blaster. Xiaomi phones, they still got IR blasters. Brand new phones. It should be headphone jack, IR blaster, expandable memory on every one of these flagship phones. And I'm not going to stop talking about it until that happens. All right. <laughs> you know, he's like, I gotta do the dramatic pause so y'all know I ain't playing. All right, anyway, let's see. Unbox, unboxing king. Check this. What is this now? Xiaomi got some new stuff. What is this? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. The me look. The the me fold two, bro. I already ordered that. Come on, I'm way ahead of you. I already ordered that, bro. I already ordered that. Anyway, let's see. Um, okay, a little Xiaomi event. Uh, Xiaomi had the event the other day, so everybody tagging me a nose. Okay, look, see, that's what I'm talking about. The Glyph One, okay? We're not talking about nothing phone anymore. That's the Glyph One. Let's see, it's my birthday. I'm at a resort watching a Flossy Garden video. See, now, this is the kind of time. Me, this is how much I love my YouTube community. I gotta, whenever I see stuff like this, I gotta stop and say happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? Look, that took me three seconds to do. Y'all taking time out of your busy days and your busy lives to watch my videos and support my channel. The least I could do is when y'all tag me on your birthday, I'm going to give you some birthday love. All right. This is what I do for my community. Okay. 
<laughs> you, know, you see, I'm, I'm really feeling myself today. I mean, I need to. I right, floss. Calm down. Right, you, you just send a little message, man. You, calm down. You ain't, even, you ain't even give him a gift. Calm down. Sometimes I, I, you gotta check yourself because if you don't check yourself. Who else is, nobody else ain't going to check me. So I got to check myself. When I start getting too hype, I'm like, yo, bro, bring it in, yo. What are you doing? Bring it in. Anyway, so this is your Twitter. Let's see. Um, let's see. Um, what is this now? Let's see. Let's get this uh, mentioned in a goat. Flo's got for the last word. Thank you. He definitely my favorite YouTube inspired me to start my own channel. Okay. Whenever you see people starting their own channel, I hit him with the congratulations, yo. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to knock nobody down. Big up your friends, yo. I support your friends. Congratulations. All right, now I'll get back to that later. Anyway, so that's how your Twitter's going to look. All right, shout out to Bonnie Lopez. Okay, now, Bonnie, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to reply to your message. Again, this is how much, this is how deep I'm into my YouTube community. I've been remembering messages from people, from people I never met. But, but I just left one comment I, re I re remembering. He said, Flossie, um, uh, bro, a message you, please write me back. I'm your biggest fan. All right, I got you. I'm going to hit you later. I'm going to hit you later. Because he sent me a message. I ain't gonna blow him up, but he said some really, really compelling things to me. You know what I'm saying? Seems like a young man in need of a, a big brother. And that's the kind of dude I am. I'm, I'm always well willing to be a big brother to somebody in need. Anyway, so this is how your Twitter's gonna look. Let's exit out of that. Now let's take it over to, what else we got? TikTok. Now we gotta turn the volume down for TikTok. Okay, TikTok be spicy these days. You know what I'm saying? TikTok, TikTok be spicy these days. They, they, Okay, <laughs> no, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's a nice dress, though. That's a nice dress. <laughs> I, I appreciate this kind of stuff. Like, bro, this is a nice dress. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Any of y'all watch uh, <laughs> To Catch a Predator? It's a question. Jeff Stacy voice. What's wrong with that? All right, here we go. That's only for the TCAP fans. Y'all know who Jeff Stacy is? It's a question. Okay, we got the glizzies, cooking with some glizzies. All right, it is what it is. Okay, and some inspirational shit right here. Okay, now this is what I'm. This is what I like to see. Oh, look at that! Cooking right at the table like that. Now this, and I'm not talking about some um the hibachi. This is like a he got the real grill at the table. I like that. Yo. Oh, I like that. Yo, look at the recession. Yo, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? The other day I went to the store. I usually like before I work out. Sometimes I like to get a little vitamin C, a little pineapple juice. I bought a little one dollar pineapple juices. I went to the store. The one dollar pineapple juice was like this big. It was like this big. Yo, with the inflation right now, a lot of shit is just getting smaller and smaller. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but this shit is funny to me, man. Like I picked it up. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? Yo, a little pineapple juice for the same price. I'm like, come on, man. At least I, I would be happy if it's the same price and just put a little less in it. I, I'd rather that than give me some little shit like this. Yeah, look how small that can. Oh, on a side note too, my 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 um my niece just told me to try this the other day. The simply lemonade. I think it's called hard lemonade. Simply hard lemonade or whatever. Oh yeah, I'm definitely trying that. Let me go ahead and like that. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and bah, screenshot that so I don't so I don't forget that I gotta try that. Okay, see that's how your screenshots look. Now this is some ultra fatness right here. Activating my fat glands. Okay, uh, yo, what's up, man? This is how you know I'm fat because when my whole feed is all food. It seems like all I do is look at food all day. You know, <laughs> it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Okay, what is this? Interesting experiments. Okay, that looks. This and I like this kind of stuff too. Oh, that looks nice, yeah. Wow. This is how you know I'm a nerd also because I'm all I'm all getting all excited about some experiments. Like, bro, calm down, calm down. Now, this is the type of shit you will see in New York City. Okay, he taking a monkeypox bath right on the train. Now, if you on this train and you sitting right there, <laughs> your name is Boo Boo the Fool for real. All right, you see somebody doing some shit like this and you sitting right there on your phone, bro, get up and walk all the way to the very end because the monkeypox particles, they flying all over right there, yeah. All right, we don't really care about COVID no more. All right, we all got COVID. We don't want monkeypox, though. All right, I'm scared of monkeypox. I, COVID, I was like, yo, bring it. What you got for me, COVID? But monkeypox? Nah, bro. I'm scared. All right, I'm keeping it a buck. I'm terrified, yeah. I do not want monkeypox. Okay. Anyway, look, look at Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone. I forgot about Tyrone. He's still out here smacking folks, smacking cigarettes out of folks' hands, yeah. Tyrone's still out here. You know, that, and that's the thing about these, you know, TikTok sensations and all that. The gimmick kind of wears off. And the gimmick kind of wears off. Again, now, when you see this, that's your cue to log off. When you see dudes walking around the street, Dragging a coffin. When if I would have just been scrolling out, I'd been like, okay, that's my allotted time of TikTok scrolls for the day. Now let's finish this off with uh, Instagram. Okay, 
No, we don't want to try that. Oh, Curtis, this is a family. This is a family show. This is a family show. Okay, my man Goob out here doing the work. Now, these dudes with these massages, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> dude's got a nice gimmick to feel up chicks. I, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But stop acting like it's a real business, bro. Okay, you, you, you're just a scum. You're just a scumbag. Yeah. It's very scummy. Well, hey, you know, if, if the girls like it, do your thing, bro. Do your thing. It's very scummy. All right, let's see. Um, okay, so we got some. Uh, this is my man. He sells jewelry. It's a nice little piece right there. Nice little daily piece. Oh, the piece got an actual watch on. That's that. If you look at it, that is kind of dope. The piece has a rollie on. That, that, that's kind of dope. The family show. Hold on, let me just make sure that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely not appropriate for this. <laughs> for this family, this is a family show, yeah. All right, ladies, can y'all calm down for a minute? This is a family show. I will circle back and watch all of those videos later, though. Okay, so we got the, um, which is this, Paul, Paul Rich watches? That actually looks nice. Paul Rich, real nice. Okay, why he dunking a, a, ra a random Walmart worker? Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. That is dirty, yo. That is dirty, yo. And it's a girl, yo. Oh, it's a dude. I was about to say, damn, yo. Bro, got, bro, got no, no. Yo, that was dirty. Look, let's, we got to watch that again. We gotta watch that again. This is—he just dunked on a random employee like that, bro. Nah, bro. We gotta fight after that. I'm sorry. <laughs> we gonna have to fight after that, or we gonna have to play a one-on-one -on -one after that. We gotta play a first to five after that, yo. For real. Okay, so we got some shameless kicks. Okay, let's see. Oh, that matters. Oh, now, did y'all see the? Oh, look at this. Look at this. How does her car get stuck right there? I don't know, but look what happens. Look what happens. Your, 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 when your car gets stuck on the train tracks, that's what's gonna happen, yo. <laughs> do you know how loud that must be to it? Like watching a video, it doesn't it doesn't really do it justice. But if you ever been next to a car accident, that sudden loud sound is terrifying. Oh, Curtis, is a family show. Family show. If y'all hear me go, that's me saying this is a family show. All right, so fellas, if you gotta run that too, if you say it, okay. Anyway. All right, big man jumping into the weekend. Okay, I respect that. Okay, let's wrap this up. This is um, this is how your Instagram feed is gonna look. Okay, shout out to my homegirl Blue Diamond. She's one of the DJs out there doing her thing, doing her thing out there. Okay, thoughts going wild. Imagine you see this on the highway. Yeah? Even worse, imagine you see this on the highway. Or you see this video, and that's your daughter out there, man. Come on, fellas, we we gotta do better, man. All right, this is exactly why you gotta take care of your kids to make sure that in a couple of years you don't be scrolling on Instagram and see your daughter on top of a car <laughs> busting it down. All right, anyway, so that's Instagram right there. But 120 hertz refresh rate, beautiful. Let's get to wrap this up. All right, RDA test passes with flying colors. Like I said earlier, this is a beast. Okay, it's just. Small for me, but if this is what you're looking for, all right, if this is what you're looking for, in my opinion, you got two choices. You got the Galaxy or the Asus. Now, the Asus, they claim that they're going to give you the next two versions of Android and minimum two-year support. But with the Galaxy phones, you're getting better always on display. You're getting all of the live wallpapers, all of the gimmicks. You got all of the edge panels. You got Samsung decks. It is water-resistant just as much, okay? Maximum nits with the brightness. Okay, the phone just feels better. It looks better. Got wireless charge. It's just better. Okay, it's just better. But if you could get this phone now, would I spend 780 bucks on this? No. All right, I would say no. I would say no. 700 bucks is a good price. Now, for this one, I'll sell this one. Give me give me 600. All right, give me 600 and get the out of here. All right, give me 600 and take this shit off my hands. But for 780, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, 780 for no wireless charge, that's a little bit TGH. But overall, I right, on a scale of one to ten, let me go ahead and rank this. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this phone, the ASUS Zenfone 9, a major, major go. I gotta take away one major for no wireless charge. Okay? But other than that, the display, the brightness is gonna blow you away. Speakers are great, battery life great, processor, top of the line. Okay, silky smooth. And again, if you're looking for the lightest phone, lightest, smallest phone, you're not gonna find one this light and small. That's not a fold. Asus Zenfone 9, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. 
shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch him, go. It's your boy Floss, I'm at. Spark one to beam up. situation where everybody in the world uses technology and if you're gonna buy some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones the iPads the galaxies the Samsung's whatever the fuck the beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.